Is democracy dying in despot's detention? Bangladesh, a small country with a vast population and massive potential in Southeast Asia, is currently under the thumb of a tyrant, Sheikh Hasina. She came to power by backstage negotiation with a military-backed unelected government in 2009. Since then, she's been clinging onto it for over a decade by force, indiscriminate murder, enforced disappearances, arrests and all sorts of oppression. She has already staged two rigged national elections during this time and assassinated several opposition leaders using the judicial system and killed thousands of people. Now, this despot is slowly killing the symbol of democracy in the country, Begum Khalida Zia. Bangladesh became independent in 1971, but it was ruled by a single-party dictatorship since then. President Zia Rahman initiated a true democracy and multi-party politics in 1977 for the first time in its history. However, it went back to being ruled by dictatorship again after he was killed by some army officers in 1981. Begum Khalida Zia, a widow with two adolescent sons at the time, has devoted her life for the struggle for democracy and human rights. In return, people chose her as the first ever democratically elected Prime Minister in 1991, when she successfully established parliamentary democracy in the country. She is considered to be the mother of democracy of Bangladesh. Her steadfastness and struggle against autocracy made her the Nelson Mandela of Bangladesh. Her counterpart, Sheikh Hasina, was never able to accept Khalid Zia's popularity. Instead of participatory and competitive political activities, Sheikh Hasina always prefers backstabbing, corruption and political division. Her ultimate goal is to destroy Khalid Zia to ensure the power for her family members in the future. Khalid Zia is at present in despot's detention. She was convicted in a politically biased and proved to be baseless corruption charge. Although steadfast and firm in morality, she is at her very old age now. Will the people of Bangladesh let her die in prison? Will the global community allow democracy to die in despot's detention? Political opposition has become an impossible choice in Bangladesh. Teachers, farmers or even school children were brutally beaten and killed and driven out of the streets while trying to organise movements for their civil rights. However, the people of Bangladesh bear a great sense of freedom in their core. In their thousands of years of history, they always stood up against oppressors and occupying forces. Will they rise to save their mother of democracy?